Good evening, everybody. No one in Michigan wants to see those big auto projects cropping up outside of our state. It tops our news tonight at 6. So, in fact, the legislature and the governor set aside a billion state dollars to try to attract big developments here. And it's paying off with a new electric vehicle battery plant in Van Buren Township. It's going to be at the Crossroads Distribution Center near Ecourse and Haggerty. But the excitement right now is in Novi, where local four business editor Rod Maloney is live with the story. Rod? Well, these are the corporate offices for our next energy or one, as you can see in the sign behind me. They are ecstatic because now they procured this massive plant in Van Buren Township with the help of a $200 million plus grant from the state of Michigan. And Mujib Ijaz is the CEO, and he says this American company is doing some rather interesting things with new EV technology. We're using a material iron-based material that's easy and abundant to get anywhere in the world. We're not chasing after cobalt, which is very difficult to get. We're reducing the cost of batteries, and we're extending the range of electric vehicles all the way to around 600 miles. Usually when we hear about these kinds of mega projects with billions of dollars at stake, and in this case, 700,000 square feet of floor space, we wait a long while for an opening, but not the case here. There's already a massive building just awaiting working hands near the airport. The expectation is they'll work up to building a couple of hundred thousand EV battery packs a year over the next couple of years. IJAZ likes the new timetable. We're going to move into that building and take possession in January. Perhaps more excited is Taylor State Representative Alex Garza. Happy a couple of thousand new jobs are coming into his district. We definitely are in need of, of more and diversified uh, facilities like this, especially uh, the future of, of battery operation in, in this country. Um, so we're happy to be on the forefront of this. Yes, they could have gone out of state, but Van Buren puts our next energy right in the middle of the necessary transportation it needs. But more than that, brings unique industry talent to bear. We see a lot of talent in being able to bring the people that are going to run that factory from automotive experiences as well as battery experiences. Now, battery technology offers a lot of differing opportunities, and they're going to be working with DTE to use batteries that they manufacture in Van Buren Township as part of the grid. In other words, the idea is to take the batteries that they're going to be shipping and for 30 days charge them up and then discharge them and use that as storage space for our electrical grid, trying to meet some of the demands of the future EV issues and, and the green energy plans that they have in the state of Michigan. It's going to be fascinating. We're certainly looking forward to seeing it when they actually get it up and running. Back to you. Yeah, and we know the demands are tremendous. Uh, Rod, I know, you know, we often see these battery startups linked to original equipment manufacturers like GM or Ford. Is that the case here? No, it is not. And in fact, that's one of the unique things they say is that they have funding for the next four, uh, about four billion dollars. So for the next few years, they have all the business they need. They don't need to get any help. What they want to do is to get going and actually building their new generation batteries as soon as they can.